My name is Faluki Campbell. I'm one of the regional pastors for Audacious Church. It's my privilege and honour to share some thoughts around Isaiah 43 verses 1 and 2. And it says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. Church, I don't know what individual situations you're facing, what waters are coming against you, seeming like they're rising, the tide is against you. I don't know if you're in the rivers which seem to be just carrying you away. Things are coming at you left, right and centre. The expression, it never rains, but it just pours, it thunders and you're feeling like you are sinking. Or it could be you're in the midst of something, some fiery trial, relationship difficulties, financial difficulties, bills coming in left and right. You don't know where help is coming from. It could be a health issue. All of these situations can tempt us to fear. That would be a natural response. But do not fear here doesn't mean that you won't feel the fear. All of these things that I've just mentioned are things that are going to trigger uh, things in your body. It will trigger the brain and it, that will send things to your body, which will cause you to feel the fear. But the good news is you don't have to respond in fear. Take a moment to breathe and to tune in to that which is within you. For God said, I haven't given you the spirit of fear. I've given you the spirit of power, love and a sound mind. And the secret of not fearing, not responding to all those triggers is God is with you. In Isaiah 41, 10, again, he says, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold on to you with my righteous hand. People of God, God has you. He's holding on to you with his righteous hand. There is no need to fear. You don't have to respond to those feelings. Fear tries to prevent you from moving forward. It's a fraud. It tries to disguise itself as rationale, reasons why. Remember Moses when God said, go and tell my um, Pharaoh to let my people go? He didn't say, I'm afraid of Pharaoh. He started giving excuses. Well, the reason I can't go is this. And the reason I can't go is, what about Gideon? He started to give him reasons. He didn't say, I'm, I'm hiding here because I'm afraid. No, he started giving reasons why he couldn't go and do what God was asking him to do. We should recognise fear because fear is going to knock on every single one of our doors. It's up to you how you answer it. And in these scriptures this morning, God is giving us a clue. Remember, I'm with you. Fear not. I have redeemed you, he says. We don't have to be afraid. Let's recognise fear when it comes. And let's confront them with faith. Faith in the fact God is with us. God is with us. And he is holding our hands. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your presence. You have blessed us with yourself. Father, I pray that everyone listening to me today would get a fresh revelation of your presence with them. And that with that revelation, they would face their fears and confront them and know that you've got this and that you're with them and that it is you that will help them. For I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you.